Hey everyone and welcome to the Poultry Doc Podcast. This is your host, Dr. Blaine Mosashek. Today, we're talking about one of the most feared diseases in backyard chickens, Merrick's disease. It's a unique herpes virus that can cause anything from paralysis and tumors to immune suppression and even death in our backyard flocks. If this episode hits 1,000 likes, we'll do a full Merrick's AMA edition and dive deep into the virus, the vaccines, and real-world protection tips. So share this with your backyard chicken groups and let's make it happen. Welcome back to the Poultry Doc Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Blaine Mosashek, and today we're at Sarah's house and... I wanted to show you the hen that's not oh, walking. Yeah, yeah. She wasn't walking, I immediately gave her vitamins. She stopped eating so much and then she just falls asleep all the time. She just looks kind of miserable right now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think this is Merrick's probably. Um, really? Just because she, just the way her, like she has no control over this leg. So it's it's a neurologic disease, right? It, yeah, the, it's the not virus. gonna get better. Right? No, it probably won't. And it will like ebb and flow. Like, you know, that you means everybody has Merrick's now, right? Well, they probably all do. Um, right. So they've all been exposed to it. It doesn't mean that they all develop disease like in a, the same time frame because the virus attacks different animals differently. So is that that means I should never sell for my flock. Now, Marix is pretty much ubiquitous, right? So any anybody that's got poultry for any amount of time is going to have Marix in their flock. It's just that's the way it is. That's why in order to protect for Marix, you have to give it like a day of age because the vaccine right. needs to be in the bird before I got it's exposed. These vaccinated and then I immediately fed them medicated food, which apparently cancels it out. But it also means by vaccinating them, I exposed my flock, right? No, and that's Those not really all true. Not true. Okay. No, no, that's true. So Marix disease, it's it's caused by Marix disease virus. The vaccine that most hatcheries are giving is actually, it's called herpes virus of turkeys or HVT. So it's a turkeys virus. It's also herpes. So is Marix. The herpes virus of turkeys protects chickens from Marix disease. Most Marix, not all. And so actually when people say, you know, they were, if you give Marix vaccine that you're going to expose the rest of your right. birds to Marix, it's not uh, Marix disease works. that you're okay. giving for a vaccine. So that's not true. Um, secondly, it's a virus. And giving medicated feed, number one, the medicine in the feed is not an antibiotic, which it sounds like that's what you may think it is. It's actually an anti-coccidial, so it doesn't have any antibiotic effects. It also doesn't have any antiviral effects, so it's not going to hurt the vaccine okay. giving a medicated feed. So that's not an issue there. Would you generally choose medicated feed for your chicks or no? Uh, yeah, I mean, unless you're vaccinating for coccidiosis, it would be best do to do okay. medicated feed. Yeah, we have a flock too. They're on medicated feed. Just don't get more. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping them there. Nice. <laughs> so. Yeah, I don't know. I thought her eye was looking weird, but it maybe it's just the sun. Well, she just gets covered in dust inside because she can't shake yeah. it off. So you'll notice, like, she's still alert, like, mentally. Yeah, she's eating. And it's a classic a Merrick's, thing. Merrick's thing. Now, there are many presentations of Merrick's, right? It causes cancer. Sometimes that cancer will invade the the nerves, and that's what we see here. So it's actually like the femoral nerve is where if I wanted to test and see if Merrick's is actually causing this, then I would look at her femoral nerve under a microscope and you can actually see the cancer cells in that nerve. Yeah. So she doesn't have like a tumor somewhere. It's just like all over. Well, I don't know that without, you know, if she were to pass and then we could, we could do a necropsy and determine, you know, if she, sometimes they do have tumors and they also have the inflamed nerves, right? It just depends. And other times they can be fine and, and they're walking fine, but they're just covered in tumors on the inside. And you know, the, the big thing I noticed is like she's not eating. There's just not a whole lot left. Like she's, she's very skinny. emaciated. Yeah, so she's lost a lot of condition. You know, so sadly, you know, Merrick's disease is not one that she's gonna um, be able to recover from, so. so would she's, you be able to euthanize her for me? Yeah, I could do that. Okay. I would think it's the best for her yeah, to, to euthanize her. Would you be able to just lay eyes on all of them? Kind yeah, of for yeah, me? yeah. Okay, so today we visited Sarah's flock. There was some Merrick's going on here as well that we found. So um, again, we'll follow up in a couple weeks. Hope we turn things around here. Till then, we'll see you again. Share the channel if you like it. Share this episode, save it, and tell all your friends. Thanks again for joining. This is the Poultry Doc Podcast, and I'm your host, Dr. Blaine Moseshek.